Again, welcome to Java Programming Language. This is CS102 class at Rutgers University. In these lectures, we're going to study about Java predefined methods. These are methods that the Java program language has given to us, and it consists in a class. So our main objective is to understand how methods are used in Java programming. Also, we're going to learn about standard, that's predefined methods, and discover how to use them in a program. So we start with the predefined classes. We know Java programming language comes with a lot of classes, which again, we can use at any time. And normally a classes consists of methods. So methods already written and provided by Java. Now organized as a collection of classes or our class libraries. So for example, we have a utility package class, which we use in our previous lectures when we want to input a data, the utility package consists of a, a class name scanner. So with scanner class, we can use it to get an input from a user. Same thing applied to system.out.println. This is a, a system class with a print uh, method. Normally it consists in a package called uh, java.lang. And uh, java.lang package, we normally don't import it is automatically import for us. So for example, if we write a program and I just want to print an item on a screen, I don't need to import any package, but if I'm using, for example, scanner class or mathematics class or string class, then I need to use the keyword import. So I have to import the package where the class is. So for example, the scanner class is, is in the utility package. So we have to import java.util. Then the method type, again, depends on whether the method return a result, a value. So we have a return a value method, and also we have a void method. A void method means the method doesn't expect any return value. So we shall go through some of the predefined classes, uh, which again comes with Java. So we said about the lang package. So java.lang package. This is the package that we don't need to import. So for example, Java lang package consists of a few methods here we have. First, we start with exponential value, which will be a variable. For example, I can use the PI, which is par. And again, Java gave us the value of it. Exponential also, Java gave us the value. Also, these are some few methods. Uh, first, we have the absolute x, which means we are looking for the absolute value of x. Now, every method always consists of an argument, or we say the parameter, the former parameter. Again, we will discuss this in our next lectures when we cover user-defined methods. Again, this method ABS stands for absolute, is given to us, we don't need to write it. But for example, I can write a method to find the sum of two numbers or to find a radius of a circle or something. So that'll be our next lecture is how we can write our own user-defined function. So again, the ABS function, which is absolute function, will return the absolute value of X. So X is our parameter or former parameter. And it's X should be the type int, integer. So example given here, we have negative six, seven, absolute. The answer will be 67. Positive 35, absolute. The answer will be positive 35. Um, also, we have a, a method named cell. It takes a parameter X. X can be any value and the data type will be double. And normally cell will return a value of type double which is the smallest integer value that is not less than the X. So for example, if I have 56.34, it's going to give me 57.0. We also have the exponential, again, uh, function. This is a predefined function. Again, in mathematics, we know exponential function is written e to the power X. So S is our argument. So if I'm looking, looking for exponential x equal to one, the answer will be 2.7182, et cetera. 
let's equal to three, it will give us, so this means e to the power three will give us 20.08, etc. We also have the metal floor. It takes again, the former parameter X, S can be any value double type. So this function again return a value of a type double, which is the largest value less than the X. So here, for example, we have 65.78 is going to return 65. Remember, if we use the cell 65.78, it's going to return 66. So floor will ignore the decimal values and it won't approximate. So 65.78 will give us 65. Also, we can find a log of any value Again, we know in college algebra, the log of X can be log of any value. X can be any value. So we know log here means again, natural log. Then log 10 means the log base 10. So here we say S is of a type double, retains a value of a type double, which is the natural log base E again. In mathematics, natural log will be the basis E of X. And log base 10 will be log 10. So log 10, 200, or log 10, 100 will give me two. So we have log base 10, two, will give us 0 0.30102, et cetera. Also, we have the method named mass. Max, we have X and a Y. So mass will give us, will return the maximum value of S and Y. So if S value is greater than Y, then to return X. If Y value is greater than X, it will return Y. So example here, we have a mass 15 and 25. So it will return 25. Or mass 23.67 and 14.28, it will return 23.67. Mass 45, and 23.78, it will return 45. We also have the method for mean. So mean is X, Y. This means again, returning the minimal value. So example here, we have mean 15.25, I mean 15 and 25, it will return 15. Mean 23.67 and 14.28, it will return 14.28. Now mean 12 and 34.78, it will return 12. Now mass 12, 34.78, it will return 34.78. We also have a method power, which is POW. So power would always take a two parameters. X would be the base and Y will be the exponent. So if we say power 2.0 comma space 3.0, it means two to the power three, which will give us eight. Or when we are looking for square root of a value, we know the exponent of a square root is half or 0.5. So square root of four will give me two. So we can write it as power four and 0 0.5 exponent. And that gives us two. Now we saw the difference between cell and also floor. Both of them doesn't run a value. And so we have a method called run, which normally will run the value as we know in mathematics. For example, we know a floor means it will ignore all the decimal places and give us the whole number. A cell means it will add one more number to the whole number and then ignore the rest of the decimal places. But with run, it will run our answer for us. So for example, if I have 24.56, it will give me 25. But when I have 18.3, it will give me 18 because the decimal value have to be either half or more, 0.5 or more. So this is the same concept in mathematics, how we run values to a whole number. So if I have 0.2, I will ignore it by 0.5 up, then I'll approximate one to the whole number. So we also have the square root. Uh, so if I'm looking for square root of any value, so X would be any value. Uh, for example, square root of four will give me two. 
square root of 2.25 will give me 1.5. We also have the cosine of x, so that will be cosine of any x value. So example, cosine of zero should return me one. Cosine of 80, uh, sorry, this is power will be 180. So cosine of 60 uh, will give me 0.5. Uh, or cosine of power divided by three, which will be 180 divided by three. Three can go into 18 is six. So cosine of 60 is 0.5. Now cosine of 30 is 0.866. Same thing applied to sine x. S can be any value. Sine of zero is zero, but sine of, again, 90, we know pi again is 180. 180 divided by two give me 90. So sine of 90 is 1.0. Cosine of 90 will be zero. Then we also have a tan x can be any value. So again, these are for the uh, strings. So we have the its digit, its letter. For example, its digit takes parameter of ch. So the ch will be the type of type character. In Java, character means we are using only one single symbol or digit. So for example, we can see here is digit eight. You can see that, and also it should be in a single quote. Double quotation means it's a string. So I can have eight with double quotation, then the type is no more a character, but it's a string. Now here we say is digit eight. Yeah, eight is a digit, so it will return true. Is digit uh, star, that will be return false. Or if I have a character is digit A, or B to return false. So it's digit method return true if the character is a digit. Again, in Java, character data type might be only one single symbol, digit, character, etc. We also have its letter. So this will be opposite of its digit. So its letter means if it's a character, it will return true. But if it's a digit or a symbol, it will return false. Also, we have a method to check if it's a lowercase. So this is again a character CH. So we are checking if a character is a lowercase. This time it's going to return true because A is lowercase. Now the second example return false because A is uppercase. Also the same thing we can check if a character is uppercase. Mm -hmm. and takes a character as a parameter. So uppercase B, it will return true. Lowercase K, it will return false. We can also, is the previous legend we check if it's lowercase or it's uppercase. Now we can also convert to lowercase or to uppercase. So if I have to lowercase, uppercase D, my answer will be lowercase d. But we know symbols are always the same. So to lowercase symbol or digit will give me the same value. Now, same thing applies to uppercase. We have a lowercase j, so it will return uppercase j. To uppercase 8, it will return the same value 8, because digits, there is no lowercase or uppercase. Now here we say that to simplify the use of public or static methods of a class, Java introduced the following import statements. So we always can also import static, the package name dot the class. Or import static package name dot class name dot method name. So here we are importing all the class. Asterisk here means again all the class in the package. Here we are going to spec specify the specific method in the class. So if I had the class name asterisk, it means I'm importing all the methods in that class. Now, if I have only the package name asterisk, it means I'm importing all the classes. Then I can also specify here the class name and the method name. 
So for example, we have import static java.lang.mat asterisk semicolon. This means I'm importing all the maths method in the maths class. So we have an example of a program here. This is an example show how to use some of the predefined method. So first we start with the, the concept of importing. So I can say import java.lang.mat dot uh, asterisk means again porting everything. Or uh, import static java.lang and character class. Now, as we said by default, we don't import language or lang package. It's already imported for us. Also, system.r.println is in the lang package also. So here we have our main method. We declare three variables, int for x, double u, also double for v. So the first thing we have in the line one, we say the uppercase A is to uppercase. So this will give us again, convert to print uppercase for us. So the output here will be, again, this is in a string, so line one, uppercase A is, it will return the value uppercase A. Then we say system dot dot and line four, we have the percent one float, which means one decimal place to the power of one decimal place again, equal to the answer will be two decimal places. Normally we can call the percent section, we call it a placeholder. So we can see that after we write the expression finish, we have u, v, and then power u, v. So in sequential order, the first place order will take the first list of the variable. So this means line four percent period one F will be the content of u. The content of u, we change it to one decimal place to the power of the content of b, v into then our result equal to the power UV, which will be two decimal places in the place order. Then we have another line five, five to the power of, so here we have power five and four. This means again, what to be, to give us the answer five to the power four. And also we have absolute value so we use a, b, x, x. So whatever x value is, whether it's positive or negative, the output will be positive value. Here the s is negative 15. So it's going to print positive 15 as absolute x. So this again, the output. First we said the uppercase a is a. And we remember again, the result 4.2 to the power 3.0 will give us 74.09. Then we have the five to the power four. The answer is 625. Then we have U give us 31.20. Then the absolute value, we remember X is negative 15. Now the S will be positive 15 because we call the absolute function or the absolute method. So this will be the conclusion of our lectures. Again, these lectures, we learned some few examples on how to use the, again, Java predefined methods. There are so many methods as time goes on, we may be covering many of them, but we start with just a few, the math class, and also we have the utility, actually the utility package have a lot of uh, classes. So again, see you in the next class. Thank you. Our next lectures will be how to write a user defined method. And we talk about two different types of method, the returning value type and the void type.